Hi, kindergarten friends. So, you know that avid readers, they don't just read at their table. They don't just read in one reading spot. Avid readers, really good avid readers, they read everywhere. And they read so many books. So today, we're going to read On the Floor. We've read this book a couple times before. This one is a little bit different version than the ones we're normally used to reading. We've read so many versions now. But this one's going to be a little different. But it's still going to have some of those lines that are in every book. So when we get to those certain lines that the wolf says, I want you to try to read it with me. The Three Little Pigs. The Three Little Pigs. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. They were curious little pigs and eager to learn more about the big wide world. One bright summer morning, they packed their bags and set off together. Looks like their family's waving goodbye with a tissue in a hand. She must be sad. And they're off they go. The three little pigs enjoyed being out on their own. On many a sunny day, they shared a picnic with all their new friends. Sometimes they played hide and seek all morning and then took a nap in the shade during the hot afternoon. Do you see anything in this page that might give us a sneak peek about what's going to happen? Ooh, some of these characters we've never seen before in other books. The long summer days grew shorter. Many of the pigs' friends started to prepare for the colder days ahead. The pigs realized they needed a house that would be warm and safe, just like the one they had left. I have an idea, said one of the pigs. We can each build our own house. Then we can have fun visiting each other. The first little pig was excited. I want to build my house as fast as I can, he thought. He grabbed the first thing he saw, some straw from a nearby field, and set to work. <laughs> he did not spend much time planning his new straw house. Instead, he started building right away. After a short time, the house was finished. The pig wiped his brow with satisfaction. Wipe your brow means like this, your eyebrow. I'm wiping my brow. So the pig wiped his brow with satisfaction. So he was happy, he was satisfied. But the other two pigs had doubts about the house made of straw. Maybe it's not strong enough, one of them said. So he was wiping his brow. They're thinking, what if it's not strong enough? <laughs> Looks like the mouse is wiping his brow too. The second little pig thought, what can I use that will be better than straw? He gathered up the strongest, straightest sticks he could find. He lashed some of the sticks together and built a frame. Then he tied sticks to the frame to make walls. Hmm, why do you think there's a bird there? And a bird there. Let's see, oh yeah, there was a mouse here. Why do you think there was a mouse here? A bird there. Right, so he's building this house of sticks. Oh, now he's wiping his brow. Finally, the second little pig wiped his brow with satisfaction. A job well done, he thought. Meanwhile, the third pig remarked, It's very nice, but I don't think it's strong enough. So the third little pig searched everywhere. What can I find that will be better than sticks? He wondered. He came across a tumble-down building. There were old bricks all around it. He decided they would be just right for his house. 
I want you to think about why did I whisper that when I was saying, what can I find that will be better than sticks, he wondered. Why did I whisper that? The third little pig set to work, brick by brick, his house took shape. It took a long time, but the pig finished his sturdy house. He wiped his brow, quite satisfied with his handy work. The two other little pigs shook their heads. They were not sure this one little house was worth all the hard work. So he's wiping his brow. And, hmm, what do you think of their faces? They don't look very happy. And it says... They were not sure this one little house was worth all the hard work. Hmm. What do you think they're feeling there? Oh, I just noticed the ant. What do you think of this ant here? What do you think that means? After each pig had built his own little house, they had time to play. One day, they were out having fun they happened across some wolf tracks. Then, oh, when the pigs saw that a wolf had been nearby, they all ran home and locked their houses up tight. What do you think their faces look like here? I think they look a little worried. Their mouths are open like a circle and their eyebrows are up. Their eyes look huge. And they're staring at the wolf prints, and it says they ran back into their houses and locked them up tight. Soon enough, the wolf appeared at the door of the first little pig's house. The straw house shone golden in the sunlight, sunlight in the sunshine. Oop! I noticed my what I said didn't match here; it didn't look right, so I had to go back. The straw house shone golden in the sunshine. Little pig, little pig, let me come in, said the wolf, grinning his big wolf a grin. No, cried the first little pig, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Okay, you know this part, say it with me. Then I'll huff, and I'll puff. And I'll blow your house in, shouted the wolf. And with an enormous breath, the wolf blew down the house of straw. An enormous breath. That's a big word, enormous. Mm, so think about what would just be a regular breath. It'd be like, but what would be an enormous breath? It'd be like, what enormous breath would be so much breath. Enough breath to blow down a whole house and apparently blow a pig away and blow a coffee mug. So that's an enormous breath. The first pig ran to the second pig's house. Right after they had closed and locked the door, the wolf appeared. Say it with me. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in, said the wolf. No, cried the pigs. Not by the hair of our chinny chin chins. Oh, they're looking super worried now. <gasps> okay, say it with me. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, shouted the wolf. And with a tremendous breath, the wolf blew down the house of sticks. Whoa, so last time he had an enormous breath. This time he had a tremendous breath. So that big word tremendous must be another word. That means a lot, a lot, a lot of breath. So much breath. They're pulling the page away. Their whole page is flying away. What's happening there? There. Ooh, let's see what happens now. The two little pigs ran as fast as they could to the brick house. All three little pigs watched from the window as the wolf appeared. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in, demanded the wolf. By now, he was feeling pretty sure of himself. So he looks like confident. He's like, I got this. I'm going to get him. 
No, shouted all the pigs together. Not by the hair of our chinny chin chins. How are their faces looking? Ooh, this face looks a little different than these faces. How do you think it looks different? And what do these faces look like? Then I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house in, shouted the wolf. But even with a stupendous breath, the wolf could not blow down the house of bricks. The wolf slumped. Oh, slumped. He slumped his body down. He slumped, exhausted, outside. The little brick house. Mm, how does his face look now? After resting a bit, the wolf came up with a new plan. The three little pigs guessed what he might do. So they lit a blazing fire in the fireplace. Just as the pigs had guessed, the wolf climbed down the chimney. Before he could reach the bottom, his tail caught fire. Oh, his face is looking worried now. He looks worried. The wolf could not pull himself up and out the chimney fast enough. He raced away in panic. The three little pigs stood arm in arm in front of the sturdy brick house as they watched the wolf disappear into the distance. From that day forward, he was never seen again, and the pigs lived happily ever after. So what did you think about this version of The Three Little Pigs? Did you like it more? Did you like it less than the other ones we read? What's your favorite one that we read so far? Tell your stuffed animal or tell someone in your family what you think. And keep on reading every single day.